In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to use Keynote to animate pictures so you can post them on Instagram, make them look a lot more interesting, like a movie as opposed to a still picture. So let's take a look at how we might do that. First thing we do is open up Keynote and under document, we want to be sure that we set it for a square picture. I use 768 by 768. That will match the aspect ratio used in Instagram. Now, music is optional, but I like to add it. So I've got some music here. I'll simply drag it in. I've got a black background as my default. And under format, you can take a look that this is about a minute long. It's going to be a bit, a bit shorter than that. When I'm all done here, I'll, I'll fix that at the end, make that trim to the right length. I just drag that in first. That's the first thing. I want to start playing music immediately. And the next thing you want to do is drag in your uh, photograph. In this case, I've got a picture of M13 that I took. And with M13, I've identified some small galaxies in the background. So I'm going to talk about the distance difference between these three objects. That's part of my description. So here we have the picture. It's all set. It looks good. Now, first thing I'm going to do is a, a slow zoom into the globular cluster. I'm going to go to Animate and Action and Add Effect. And it's going to be Scale. Typically, the ones you use the most are Scale and Move. Sometimes you use rotate, especially if you have like a galaxy, you want to spin the galaxy slowly. It can be a nice effect. I generally don't use opacity much. But let's say scale here. And the default is 150%. I think we can stand a bit more because the resolution of the picture supports it. So I'm going to go 300%. And notice that in my build order sidebar here, it defaults to on click. I don't want on click. I want it to be with build one. So I want the music to play and the scale to happen at the same time. And I noticed that I'm a little bit truncated on my number at the bottom. So I'm going to also do a add action and I'll say move. And I'm just going to drag it up a little bit so that the 22 kilo light years is visible. And I want that to happen at the same time as build one. So that's the first thing that I want to do is zoom in on that. I can get a preview of it and it looks pretty good. Now I want to go to the upper galaxy, which is the uh, middle distance galaxy. So I'm going to add a new action and it's going to be move. And I'm going to drag the picture to move it so that that galaxy is centered. That looks pretty good. I can do a quick preview and that looks good. I want to make this after build three. Then from there, I want to go to the next galaxy, the final galaxy. So I'm going to add an action again, and I'm going to say move. And I will move it where I want it to be. That's the galaxy right there in the center. And I might want to zoom in a bit more on that galaxy because it's so small. First, we'll take a look and see how it looks. I'll do preview. This is going much faster than I would normally do it because uh, I'm just doing the editing phase. When I'm all done, I'll add the delays. So I think I'll go a bit larger here. So I'm going to add an action to scale, and I'm going to take it up to, let's say, 400%. And I'm going to make that with the previous build, 5. So it happens together. So let's take a look at how, how that all looks. Okay, that zoomed in a bit. Now the size, when I do the scale, it got skewed a bit, so I'm going to edit on the move here, make it back in the center. I'll try it again. Happy with that. Happy with that. Okay, that's good. So once I've got that all done, I think I want to go back to the uh, overall view of M13. So starting from that point, I want to add an action, and it's going to be a move. And I'm going to move back to having the globular cluster in the center of the field. And at the same time, so that's going to be after build six, I'm going to add an action to scale. And I'm going to scale it back to, let's say, 125%, just a little bit bigger than the original picture was. And I'm going to make that with the previous build. So let's have a look at how this whole thing looks right now. That's good. That's good. Too fast, obviously, but... Okay, now that's not good at the end because I'm truncating the upper galaxy. So I've got to go back to this move and I want to drag it down so I can see all of that. I want to see one, two galaxies and the globular cluster. Let's have one more look and see if my quick edit is good. I'm happy with that. 
So at that point, I could say to myself, time to do the uh, build out. So I'm going to select build out over here. And you could try all these effects. I find that the uh, dissolve works well. And uh, generally speaking, about a six or seven second dissolve is good. So that's there. Now at this point, I'll do one more preview. Oops, I'm not going to do a preview yet. I've got to make sure this happens after that last setting. So we zoom, got some galaxies pretty far away, and then it's going to fade away. And when it fades away, you'll see my logo appear. I always put my logo on these documents. And you can use the arrange function here to bring, if you had a logo forward or back, you want it in front of or behind the picture, whatever you like that to be. Okay, so that's all good. At this point, what I want to do is put some delays back in. So I'll go back to my first one. Um, I'm going to make this one, uh, let's say, 10 seconds. And the second move, I think all my moves are going to make just make them five seconds. So that's five. That's five. Now notice that when you have a combination of two things, if you have a scale and a move at the same time, then it's useful to make them both the same. I'm just making these all the same, but you could obviously make them whatever numbers you want them to be. Generally want to make the entire process less than a minute. And I think that's all done. So now that I'm all done, I'm going to uh, go up to play and we're going to hit play. And now it's going to show with sound how the, the, the whole process would look and make sure that I've got it the way I want it. So here we go. All right, that was about a 25 second process. So I'm gonna go back up to Unknown Planet, which is my sound, and I'm gonna format it. And I was set for 30 seconds. I'm gonna drag that back down to 25 or so. I know I'm, I'm basically done at this point. I can go up to File, Export as a Movie. And I do not want to have delays here. So these are both gonna be set to zero. I have my resolution set for 1080p. It's self-playing. I'll say next. And then here I can put in M13 animation fun. And say export. And now that goes to the desktop and I'm all set. I can simply import that into Instagram, Facebook, or wherever I want. Now, of course, there's much more you can do. You can build in multiple pictures. I've done that in previous uh, iterations of these examples. You can spin galaxies around and so on, but they're all logical extensions of the basic principles I've demonstrated here. Hope this was helpful and have some fun with that. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.